Where did I meet Megan? We met in a bar in Columbus, Georgia. I ended up going downtown Columbus. I remember parking my car and I remember sitting there and just being like, I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go to sleep. And I turned my car back on and I drove away. And I remember driving away and seeing a group of people um, as I was passing them. And there's one guy that just stood out to me and he was wearing a black shirt and it had green writing on it and it said Nike and he was wearing khaki pants. And some weird reason, I just, he stood out to me and I, I don't know what it was, but he did. And so I turned back around, I parked my car and I started walking and um, it's about a block away from my friend's bar. So I uh, got up there. Um, about five minutes later, I am hanging out outside my friend's bar and I feel a tap on my shoulder. And I turn around and to my surprise is the man with the black shirt, green writing that said Nike in the khaki shorts. And he goes, hi, I'm Austin. And I was like, hi, Austin. I'm Megan. Do I, do I know you? <laughs> He's like, no. Um, me and my guy friends, we were down here for school. We've been here for like four days and we don't know Columbus. And we were wondering if you knew of a good place to go and hang out at. And me being me, I was like, he's cute. Uh, get him to stay here and hang out with you. So I was like, actually, this bar is awesome. You guys should totally just hang out here. And, uh, they did. They hung out with me for about four hours. And Austin and I have been together ever since that day. So... September 22nd, 2017, uh, was the day I met my soulmate. And the rest is history. I live a lifetime every moment when I'm holding you close. Lay your head down on my shoulder. Honey, I won't ever let go. Because you love me like a man. Now I'm right where I belong I'm gonna love you the same for the rest of my days And on and on and on Cause as long as we keep dancing We'll stay young at heart And every time I hold you in my arms You give me deja vu Like I've been waiting my whole life to find that you when I'm looking at your eyes, I go from California to Timbuktu, back to dancing in the living room. If I got you, baby, every day's a honeymoon. The group that's here right now, as crazy and ridiculous as you guys are, I can't be more thankful and appreciative of being a part of my life, being a part of my life with, with Megan, and the fact that you guys have our backs through whatever. So, so you guys, thank you. Yeah.
back. She looks it, beautiful. It's a dad approved, I hope, because it's too late. Uh, <laughs> it, it, you look like a movie star, like I said. Thanks, Daddy. My goodness. Make sure you put some pictures on the Facebook so I can find you and see you. I will. Okay. We miss you. You're silly now. Quit sniffling and doing that. You know. You end up crying and ruining your makeup or something. I know, and it costs way too much to get it done, so <laughs> I really won't. <laughs> All right, well, I love you. Love you too, sweetie. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. It's okay. Sorry. Here. I know. I know. Oh, man. What do I love about Megan? I love the fact that she will always be there for our family, for me, for our future kids. I know that she will always put us first. I've never met someone that loves as hard as she does and is as dedicated as she is towards us and towards me. And that it's crazy to think that we met just on a whim. Why did we, why have we stayed together for four years since then? I don't know. We just gravitate towards each other. I can't see my life without her. She can put up with me, with everything that I do, all the craziness, with the lifestyle that she fell into, and she loves me more because of it, and I love her more because of it, it doesn't hurt that she's smoking hot, and that we just understand each other, when she's down, I'm up, when I'm up, she's down, and we help each other. Why do I love Austin? Man, oh, this question makes me emotional. Um, what's there not to love? I think I think that's what every every wife says is what is there not to love about their significant other? Um Man, he is the most selfless person I've ever met. He puts everyone else before him, no matter what. He loves with his whole heart and he loves so freaking big. Austin is my person. And you know it's crazy because a long time ago, I got jaded and 
I stopped believing that true love existed. I thought it was just something that you saw in fairy tales and Disney made. I never really thought there was actually somebody's soulmate out there for anybody. But then I met Austin. And ever since the day we met, he has just always had that look in his eye. The look of, I love you. I don't care how crazy you are. I don't care what you do. I understand there's going to be ups and downs, but I'm going to love you hard through the ups and the downs. And I would choose Austin over any bad day. I would choose him through thick and thin. And I think that's why it's Austin. I think it's always been Austin. And he's made every single heartache, every single doubt I've ever had worth it. And now by the power entrusted to me by the online Universal Life Church Ministries in the state of Oregon, I now pronounce you husband and wife. I would like to introduce to you for the first official time. Yes. <laughs> you know I've been thinking Austin about this Park. all day. Got that tape on 14 sitting on names. True 15 over to get to your place. You know I've been thinking about this all day. Open the, open the, open the door. What do we, what do we leave in there for? Closing the, closing the door. 